guys, yes. we're here at Midnight Express and we got a what, a 43? 43. 43? All right, listen, let's look at this. One, two, three, four, five engines. All right, so tell me what we got here. And what, first of all, what, what model is this here that we're, we're looking at? 43 of it. This is actually a 2016. Okay. We took it on trade. Uh, the customer's building basically the same boat, uh, full carbon fiber, and hopefully with bigger motors. Okay, bigger than this, these... Uh, Those are 400s. So. Th these 400s, are, we're, we're not enough. I'm hoping they're coming out with something more soon. Well, they got the Yamaha 425s, uh, maybe. Yeah, those are too heavy. Okay, all right, so, <laughs> all right, so look, introduce yourself for the channel so they can know who you I'm are. I'm Eric Glazer, CEO of Midnight Express Power Boats. Okay, great, so so Eric, let's take a walk through and leg, show, right yeah, w show me around what we got here. All right, so and, first things first, we've got two rows of triple bolster seats, and they have the flip-up bottoms. Okay. And you said this is a 2016 model. Correct. Is there a big difference from the 2019 uh, model? Or, or is it similar, or just different? It's very similar, just some new technologies that came out. You know, we're always improving a little bit here and there. Awesome. Um, but basically it's the same boat, same hull, same layout, unless you go for the carbon fiber layout. Nice. And tell me about this cockpit. So we have triple 22 inch garments. Um, Everything's real simple. Everything's digital. You can control the whole boat through the switches there. Two levers for all five motors. Single key for all five motors. Uh, oh, I like that. Gauges, your spotlight, bow thruster. We do stern thrusters as well. This boat does not have it. It's an option. Everything on our boats is custom. Uh, the flooring is an option. This is, has uh, plastic. We also also offer marine mat, which you'll see on the other boats that you're going to go see. Um, this boat also has a massive stereo on it. it oh, has, yeah. <laughs> I think it was 14 separates and, and eight subwoofers. So, nice. so it's it's a basically a nightclub on the water. It cranks. Eric, so so this is the bathroom. And tell me what you tell me some things about the features in this in the bathroom and so this is a full separate walled off bathroom which is unlike any other boat in this size range or class. Usually the bathroom is just part of the room, um, but we decided you need to have privacy, so we made a wall. We made the cabin a little bit bigger, and then we made the bathroom not as big as it needed to be because we were able to slide the toilet away into the wall with a switch. So when you need it, you pop it out. When you don't, you put it away. You can use the sink. You can use the sh uh, rainfall shower overhead. And then we also have a handheld shower in there. Nice. Everything's air conditioned as an option. This boat does have the air conditioning. You can do it with a generator or an inverter. So show me the front of the boat real quick because I, I want to uh, look at the front of the boat real quick. So, so tell me about these, you got three seats. Tell me about what we got here because I just wanna show all this. This is fantastic, man. Look at all the details, and comforts. So what kind of buyer are you seeing buying these boats? Like people that wanna party, people wanna go fast somewhere. What is it that? So we get, we get a little bit of everything. We get the guys that want to go out to the sandbar, just go crazy and have you know a big platform with a lot of people, big stereo, just have fun. We get people that want to do poker runs. Uh, I use this boat actually on a few poker runs myself. Nice. And no one can keep up with this thing in a center console. There's no other center console that goes as fast. As How boat. fast does this bad boy go? This boat does close to 90 miles an hour. 90 miles an hour? Yes, sir. Wow. That is incredible. How how does it feel at 90 miles an hour? Stable? Like, like you're going 60 miles. It's an hour. it's not. It doesn't even feel like it, you're walking it's on not, it. It's so easy. Wow, that it's, is crazy. It's not dangerous. It's not. I mean, look, it's always something. Yeah, yeah. Always a little danger involved, but it doesn't feel dangerous. You feel like you're in control all the time. Wow, 90 miles an hour. Oh my and we have goodness. Faster coming out. The guy whose boat this was, like I said, he's doing a full carbon fiber boat, 
hopefully with some bigger motors on it. Wow, that's incredible. Well guys, we got Eric here at Midnight Express. Thank you so much for showcasing. We're gonna go to the other show. We're here at Yachts Miami, but we're gonna take a look at the other 60 Midnight Express and uh, all the other stuff that you have at the Miami International Boat Show. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right guys, we have just bounced back from Yachts Miami to the International Boat Show. And guess what? Midnight Express is here as well. And you know what? Eric was so kind to say, let's show you around. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> the, the magic of uh, editing, huh? <laughs> we just flew over here, guys. So, Eric, talk to me. Do where I magically show up. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, bah! <laughs> we'll edit it. <laughs> so, talk to me about this Midnight Express. This is the 43, right? This is our 43 carbon edition. So the entire boat is carbon fiber. Carbon. 2,500 pounds lighter. Wow. Um, we gained about five miles an hour. This is a brand new 2019. Uh, yep. 2019. Can you take us aboard and show us what we got? Right this way. All right, guys. All right, so walk us in. Let us know where you want to start and we'll see. So, right. just like the other 43s, same, same layouts, big rear seat, four motors on the back, we can do five. Five on this 43 if you want to? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, we've got a grill, a uh, sink, and a cutting board. Sometimes we do coolers in here, it's custom again, so everything is however you want it. And then underneath, two refrigerators. Um, we can do pull out coolers, we can do tackle stations. Really, again, it's custom, so whatever you want to do is very possible in here. Has this boat been uh, made for someone already, or is this, this is one? somebody's boat? It's yes. somebody's boat, yeah, you could tell it's. Yeah. We I have mean, a sea keeper in the bilge. Okay, nice. Um, it's a sea keeper three, so it works on 12 volt. Lithium battery, so it keeps the weight down. Uh, and there's, there's actually a bunch of advantages to lithium batteries. Are certain, they're, they're really cool. Really? Um, and then, so if we move forward, we have two rows of four facing seats, three seats each. We did the silver carbon fiber dash with triple 22 Garmin's. You have all touch display. Incredible. This boat has something really cool. This is the only boat in the world that has it. And I need to find it. The Poco right there. The Poco? So now I can control all of my lights. So for example, my top lights, if I press and hold it, a window comes up. I can choose whatever color I want oh, the light to be. that's crazy. I can change my brightness. You can make it go through a panel, uh, a cycle, and change colors automatically. So I select a green, your lights are green. That's so sick. That is incredible. How fast is this boat going, Eric? Once top speed and cruising speed and... So cruise is whatever you want. We say <laughs> it's 40 miles an hour. That's where you're most fuel efficient. We're yeah. going to be on this boat with the carbon. You're I think 1.4 miles per gallon. Um, the standard 43 is 1.3 miles per gallon. Uh, this boat runs, we've run 84 so far. Wow. Uh, and we think there's a little bit more in it. We, we had a belt break as we were approaching that speed. Um, and then again, with a fifth motor, you're a 95 mile an hour boat probably. We're gonna find out real soon we're building a uh full carbon five engine boat. Which is the gentleman who had the other one at the show we the talked about. Yes, yep. yes. It's gonna be an awesome boat. I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't wait to see that build. So. Yeah. Like, man, this so is just. all the armrests on the triple lounge seat up in the front. Even armrests on the outside too. Big U seat up front, table that comes up and down. Put it down halfway, it comes with a cushion and make this a big sunbed. Nice, big, have a bunch of people laying out, getting some sun. And yeah. uh, dive tank racks are in here. And a lot of storage on the floor as well. These are really cool. These are fender lockers. So we've got these custom fenders oh, made. Nice. 
See, that's a, that's a detail that you see you wouldn't expect. You know, you guys are making your own accessories for your own boats. That's yep. awesome. And so these are in four corners of the boat. So it's easy to get to all your lines and fenders and all your boats. No access to the bottom or here, right? Because the console's under here where we're, where we're going to go into now. Correct. Okay, so let's jump in the console. All right. Cool. So you got the forward view berth with a table, drop the table down, becomes a bed, and then a full separate head. So that's one of the things that differentiates us from other boats in this size range is we separate the head from the rest of the cabin. A, a lot of people like that. They rather not have everything yeah, together. You don't want to have to kick everyone out. Hey guys, yeah, yeah. you're in the bathroom. Get out. What, what's in here? This yeah, is all yeah. your electronics access. So you have you have access all through here. Let me grab that there. Oh man, look at that. All your batteries, chargers, your breakers, everything's in here. And, and you can easily find everything marked. Everything's here. Yeah, everything's in that. a nice, smooth, clean line. Easy to get to. That's awesome. You got some storage here also as well. That is great. So what's next? What, what, what? I mean, you guys keep on outdoing yourselves. What? What other craziness are you guys gonna do? We got the 60 behind us. <laughs> do we do we show them the 60? If you want. Properly? If you'd like. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Guys, she wasn't on the water in Fort Lauderdale, but she is in Miami. And Eric said, come on. I, I told him, look, I didn't properly get to show this boat. And now, now we're gonna display probably one of the best, if not the best, center console on earth at this moment i like it let's show let, let, let's show these people what we got watch your step <laughs> all right guys we are inside the midnight express 60. what where do we even start with this i like to start in the back <laughs> there's i mean what what all we need is some food right here <clears throat> this is so this whole grill pops up, a push of a button, the cushion comes up, it goes away, the cushion goes back down. Just pressing a button, all hides away. Right here. Quad 627s. <coughs> so how, how, how are those six, uh, seven Marine uh, pushing this Midnight We're Express? doing mid 70s. Wow, so, so you got four and you're, you're flying yeah, on such a huge moves. boat and it eats up rough water like you've never seen. I did 71 in six foot seas. You, you know and what? you don't feel it. I, 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 I believe that. Some people will say, you know, but on this, trust me guys, look at this. This is a 60 foot monster. Five, 10 years ago, if somebody would have said, hey, guess what? We're gonna put four outboards on a 60 footer and go 70 miles an hour, people will laugh at you. Look how, still do. <laughs> look, 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 look how it is now, right? <laughs> So tell me about this. Is this a screen that we have back here? It's a 65 inch TV that this customer said we had to put in the boat. <laughs> yeah, you have to put so it. If not, I don't buy the boat. You got the sure shade, uh, shade on the top. And it comes in and out as you press a button. Under you... both of these seats are huge refrigerators on both sides. Another drawer refrigerator on this side and an ice maker on the port side. And also some storage here. What's in here? That's just... That's another fender locker like okay. we saw in the 43. Okay, sweet. So there's six of them on this boat. Six of them. Yeah. And wow. then we got a table that pops up out of the floor. You can come up halfway. Okay, good. And so, it's a sunbed as well. That is awesome. So over here, everybody has lunch. Yeah. Chills. You got the shade open if you want. Put it away if you if want you, the sun. If you want to get some sun. Dive door on both sides. Electronic uh, or you just open no, them? They're manual. They're manual. Yeah. No, nope, nothing uh, to break. It's even better. Hall number two. We're doing six of a, a new motor coming out. It's gonna be a pretty cool boat. Six? Is it a, a seven marine as well? No. Another. So you, you said a motor. You didn't even want to say who it is. So I'm not allowed to uh, say anything. Okay, but there's six of them. <laughs> oh my God! So that tells me it's lighter, faster, and stronger. You don't have to say anymore. Oh my goodness. And then number three will be diesel inboards with artisans. Diesels, yeah. number three. And that's already been sold, ready to go, built. That one's not sold. It's that not sold. I'm hoping I get to keep, but it'll probably be sold before I ever get. Yeah. Which yeah. I, maybe you could get the, I can't complain. Maybe you, you might be able to play with it before you have to maybe, sell it. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. All right, so. 
So tell me about. So here. we got four 22 inch Garmin's here. Everything is controlled from these, including your shore power, um, all your air conditioning. Uh, we have uh, blackout windows in the entire boat. It's all controlled from here. Nice. We have a proportional balanced stern thruster. We've got air conditioning out the dash. All the glass on this boat is Gorilla glass. So it's really thin, really light, amazingly strong. We had a spare piece, we ran over the forklift. Huh. It's cool stuff. And then, like I said, all the windows in the cabin are privacy glass. So you hit a switch, and, and that's they, it. they go damn to yeah. opaque. You, you, can't, you can't open any of these? That, no, they're these all are fixed. fixed? Everything's fixed. Yeah. Okay. So in here, we go down the cabin. First time. I came in here, I was like, nah, nah, this is not ready. I thought I was like in some hotel somewhere. I was like, wait, where am I? You wake somebody up in here and you're like, wow, where did I land? So tell me about what, what the thinking was when you guys decided to sign in, design in here. And So this project kind of fell on our laps by accident. Yeah. <laughs> we had the hull mm -hmm. and we were originally gonna do it as a sport yacht. Okay. Big, you know, big closed bow, three state rooms and all that. and we thought we saw the the future of center consoles with the cabins in the console but mm -hmm. you know what we've got this awesome platform mm -hmm. we can create a crazy crazy yeah. cabin oh, oh it's so crazy we have two full state rooms and they're very well nice sized state rooms one of the reasons why i came over here guys i came with a smaller camera so it's a little bit wider of an angle but i wanted you guys to experience everything uh as, as I see it while I'm in here. Um, so, so <laughs> which room is bigger? Because they're both huge. They're both pretty much the same. Yeah, it's like, so you don't have anybody fighting for, I want this room or that right. room. You know, get either or, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So wh where was the bathroom in here? Is it, is, right it, here? It's in here. Okay, so let me open it in there so they can see in there. Um, so we have the bathroom here. You got some venting in there and whole shower separate. I mean, this is crazy. And then there's a full hanging closet behind you as well. Uh, and one of these doors actually yeah, come up. Just push. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You guys are hiding things like crazy. So, so let's go to where where the party happens. I guess everybody goes and hangs out in the front and sure after you. Let's see, oh, that J.O. Audio, uh, I think, uh, what is there, like 20 or 30 of those things on here? 20... You don't worry, you, when, you can't, when you can't count, it doesn't matter. Yeah. At that point, when it's so many that you, know, you, you, that you don't even need to remember, you can't even remember. I think that, I think that that's enough. More here, look at this for your cups and cocktails. You're standing on a table that comes up you know what i like too i'm actually standing on a table and i'm not going to be stubbing my toe and it's like it wasn't even there right that's awesome sometimes also come up halfway and make this a big sunbed as well yeah that that's so you know i have my thing i call it monsters at the show some uh, some people are saying that these are you know super super consoles i would say this is a super mega console already at this point i mean you know I, I, at what point do we get to giga mega console i, I mean know. it depends I, what people are buying you if, know? if they're willing to to pay for it you guys it, will make, make it. it all right this, that's what we gotta do hey so eric if they wanted to check out not just this boat maybe get a custom build where would they go how do they get in contact with your team you know give yeah, them the yeah. information we're uh, midnightboats.com. Okay. All our information's on there. You can also uh, contact, us, contact us directly, uh, info at midnightboats.com. Uh, and then phone number is 954-745-8284. Last question, where are you guys building these monsters? We're in North Miami. North Miami, all yep. this is being built? we build everything in-house. In, in our facility, we do not sub it out to anybody. You know, South Florida, we have such a great uh, labor force when it comes to the boating world it's incredible yeah i need a lot more of them though hey <laughs> you guys heard it here so if you want to come work for me come, come you, and find me a caveat you have to be good 
You have to be <laughs> damn good. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. We're out of here. Another monster. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep on watching, baby. More monsters to come.